Well, in reality, Stuart was given a job uh, from the day one as far as uh, running the club and being responsible and having the power for the first team and uh, give him a chance to prove what he's all about. And uh, I'm extremely happy that uh, things turn out uh, to the way I wanted from the day one. And uh, uh, this is the time when we can say that Stuart is being uh, named as a um, head coach of, uh, of our uh, club. Certainly impressed in the short time he's been in charge. Well, of course, you know, it was, uh, it was a good constructive time that we given Stuart, constructive and good time for him, for the club and for everyone else concerned and uh, prove out to be the right way to, to go forward. And uh, here we are, is also all that is we're making this, uh, this decision and naming him as a head coach of the club. Now, you asked him to make progress on the points front, on the wins front, clean sheets, and he's achieved all that. Yes, and uh, more important is, you know, of course the res results are more, most important to get us out of a horrible situation on the bottom of the league, uh, but uh, also the strategy of the playing the game, the football type we, we, we demonstrated, scoring some goals and all that says uh, that uh, he's the right man and uh, uh, basically response of the players and uh, everyone else around Stewart really showed that he's the right character for the job. And clearly the players wanted Stuart to have the job. How important was that? It's quite important because it's uh, not Stuart, it's not just uh, people around him, it's all of us together that includes the players who is our product when they goes on the field, they will do whatever he's working with them during the week. It was clear what Stuart's brief was as caretaker, if you like. What's his brief now he's been appointed? I don't think there is a much difference. In, in principle, he's, doing the, he's been doing the job from day one. I just didn't want to make a, a, a quick and uh, aggressive decision. I wanted to give us time and uh, want to be sure that this is the right decision. We, did, we, we just didn't want to follow what some other clubs do, not disrespect to anyone, but uh, you just can't make decision in one or two games and either release him or bring somebody else. You want to give the time somebody who you believe that is good coach, which I always said before that is a good man and potentially good uh, head coach and, and boss of the team but we needed more time and uh, they paid off and uh, we worked with Stuart, uh, we developed that uh, uh, kind of a partnership relationship with him from the date one but we tested that partnership relationship that proved out to be the right thing to do and uh, I think longevity and uh, and, uh, and the constructive and the quality of, of what was happened up to this point proved out that was needed and was the right thing to do. And I just hope that will carry through now for the rest of the season and beyond. Why head coach and not manager? Well, it's a good question, Trevor. I think uh, what I'm uh, trying to uh, emphasize here, we're looking at a modern type of the football management and the structure of the clubs. and. Uh, with that, you know, um, uh, with all principles, you know, Stuart's title allows him to do the same job anyway, okay, he's the guy that's got full power of football and responsibility as well, but what I'm trying to structure here is, is, is to allow the room for potentially bring director of football that overall the football activities i.e. international activities with recruiting, uh, academies and everything that happened in the football side. I'm looking on a bigger picture where this club needs to go. So I think that's a modern type of the football environment and, and, and set up and that's, what, that's the reason for it. And when do you think that would be in place, such as the director of football? It's not uh, focusing on that now, but I'm looking in the future what could what could happen and what should probably happen eventually, but not in near future. But obviously for the long-term benefit of Sheffield Wednesday. Absolutely, you got to look at the structure where this club needs to go. It's a big club, it's the club needs to go places. And I think this modern structure of the clubs, as you can see, some premiership clubs are aiming towards to that direction. So, you know, I don't think we should be uh, different. So what are the realistic aims then for the remainder of this season? Well, we just have to take one game at a time, uh, 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 Trevor, and uh, we try to win as many games as possible and win as many points as possible and uh, see how far we can go. And Stuart will get good support as he get from, from, from all of us, from Paul Aldridge, myself and uh, everyone at the club and uh, he's going to see how he responds uh, on an on, on ongoing basis. So two and a half years for Stuart Gray, what do you think he can achieve in that time? <laughs> I think he should we will achieve a lot with his uh, training um, uh, knowledge and uh, football knowledge and support we'll give him. You know, he should be achieving 
something what this club needs to do. We need to make the progress. And we came from the League One into a very uh, difficult time last season and uh, also <laughs> further difficult time beginning of this season. We need to clear that out, clear the deck out and put a clean sheet on the front of us with the plan that we go towards to the Premier League. That's what is aimed, you know, from the day one. But we need more stability and more uh, uh, in the situation football-wise, uh, quality-wise than we achieved up to this point. Because you've always stressed that the stability is important. Absolutely, and that's the, again, uh, main reason that I didn't want to uh, make quick decisions, didn't want to, you know, make quick changes one way or another and showed, you know, that we were in together, show some, some, some quality time of that and I'm quite sure that our, my majority of our supporters recognize that and uh, will appreciate it, I'm quite sure. And as I always says, decisions I make here in football club are always will be the best decision for the club, not for anyone else, not for individual, not for Milan Mandarin, not for everyone, but for this club, which means for our supporters. And finally, what's your message to those supporters for the remainder of this season? To all of you who understood clearly what I'm trying to accomplish, what I'm doing and who trusted me, I thank you for that. And uh, just uh, let's stick together and tr as I say, trust me, we'll get on the right direction and we'll get there on, on, on the place where we all want to go and we need to go.